Net. Hi, I'm Bob Shrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Right, Brad, right now we uh, are doing the equivalent of smoking, according to this new study that uh, shows that sitting <laughs> is as harmful as smoking. Okay, sitting, all right. Yeah. I can, I, long sitting. Sure, basically. okay, which is pretty common for a lot of people. Right, and the man behind all this is James Levine. He's a PhD MD over at the Mayo Clinic, endocrinologist, okay. and... He studied this for 20 years. Okay. And he found out that sitting is as harmful as smoking in the sense that the way it affects your body. Okay. And um, it can, you know, obviously some of the most obvious things that you'd understand was it's going to increase your obesity. Sure. Um, your di increase risk of diabetes. Yep. Back pain, low back pain. Yeah. I don't think it's going to affect your lungs like smoking, so maybe that part of it is right. out of the equation. Neck pain, shoulder pain. Absolutely. Bad position. Anything else? Depression. Depression. Increased depression, believe it or not, affects your mood. Um, increased hypertension. And these are all things that he has found. Right. He's, mm. he's found through studying. Okay. Increased cholesterol. So all these things are, you know, obviously, and the worst thing about this, Brad, was that if you exercise, let's say, for a half hour in the morning, right. that does not offset this. That does not help stop the effects of sitting all day long. So you can go and exercise. You think I'm fine because right. I exercised this morning. If you sit all day, you're still gonna. Have, some of these things still can happen. Sure, I can so, really understand that with the low back pain. If you're sitting, and now in the last 20, 30 years with the computers and right. many, many jobs are sitting down at the computer. So these are the solutions, and the first one that we came up with is that it's these are higher end solutions, the ones that are gonna cost you money. Right. So there's a they have what is called as a treadmill desk, where you actually you're on the treadmill. While you're working at the computer or whatever, right? It's just so the a slow so movement. the computer workstation is up above. Yeah, I've seen pictures of them, and right. yeah, if you if you got some money to throw around, that's an option. Yeah, if you think you can work that way, I don't know if I can work that way. Yeah, I don't either. The second one is there's sit to stand desks, which actually they, they they're very nice. They, right. They raise up. Well, I was trying to get one, by the way, and we weren't able to. Right. We'll work on that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the problem with that is, first off, I guess there is some issues with just even standing for a long time, too. It could be some cardiac issues. But the other thing is people, after a while, they put it down, and then they stay down. Mm -hmm. In fact, one uh, article I saw about it, they said they had gotten these sit-to-stand desks throughout their office. Mm -hmm. And he, he walked by that day while he was writing the article, and out of 12 people... Ten were sitting down. Sure. In the same old yeah, posture. I think the idea is like every twenty minutes to a half hour, you stand. Sure. And then you sit, right. and the, the alternating of it, you know, increases circulation. You work in different muscles with the standing versus sitting, helping the back, et cetera. So yeah, but you got to use them properly. The, the second approach really is is probably the better approach though, because when he was interviewed, uh, Dr. Levine, he was saying the most important thing is movement, not mm -hmm. really that the sitting itself. It's that you're doing some movement. So you got to change your work habits. And we're going to go over some of the suggestions you can do. Sure. Hear. So instead of emailing people within your office, go and talk to them. Sure. If you, you can know, get out of your desk. Getting up out of your desk. Right. Yep. So um, when you're on the phone. Yep. Get up and walk while you're on the right. phone. Right. Exactly. I think that's a great one because whenever you're going to make a call, sure. you're certainly not taken away from your you know, productivity. Right. Problem. That's the other thing. Some of these things like getting up to the copy machine uh, when someone else could do it for you if you have a receptionist or someone that works for you and, and you're doing it yourself. I'm thinking management's thinking, hey, this is inefficient. Your productivity is going to go down. But, but it, they found the exact opposite. If you actually got up from your desk every so often, your productivity actually increased because you're, you're sharper. You're, you're not falling into that office malaise. Right, do, right. You, know I mean? you start falling asleep. Right. Circulation improves so your mind is working better. Exactly. Sure. So um, I thought another good idea is walking meetings, especially if it's a one-on-one -on -one meeting. Right. Just say, hey, let's go for a walk. I want to uh, talk to you about this subject. You exactly. Know? So, sure, that's a great idea. Um, take stairs. Of course, they always tell you that one. Oh, that's a great one. I know... <laughs> I hear people where there's an elevator and one stair, you know, and they take the elevator for one flight. Right. 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 Yeah. Uh, I, That's always a yeah. Just thing. imagine the elevators broke down. I worked when I, I worked at the Mayo Clinic. When I worked there, I went up ten floors, Brad. I would I would walk those ten. Oh, floors. Oh, really? Yep. Yep. You couldn't find the elevator? No, I, I just didn't want to. I, I hated elevators. I, I understand. So. Yep. Um, if you're gonna go for a drink of water, yeah, go to the distant water fountain. If you're gonna, you know, go to a bathroom, go to a distant bathroom. Right. If you use a printer, go to the distant printer. Right. There is an app too, also called Move Brad, that actually you can put on your phone or your computer that actually uh, goes off every, you know, 40 minutes or so and says, 
move. They get up and move, sure. So, right. The, and the third recommendation we're going to make overall is that there are office exercises you can do secretly. And we're going to do that on the next video. Secretly. Yeah. Excellent. All right. All right. Thanks. Watch your sitting posture.